If you want to create any kind of design, Canva is probably the best platform, the easiest to use platform out there. You could use it completely for free at canva.com and they also have mobile apps for Android and iPhone too. With Canva, you could create all kinds of social media designs for Instagram, for YouTube. You could create entire videos inside of Canva. You could create presentations. And in this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know for creating a design from beginning to the end on Canva. Go to canva.com and just go ahead and press sign up over here. This way you could save all your designs that you create and then go ahead and create yourself a free account. Now Canva does have a paid option in this video. I'm just going to show you the free option, but I'll show you a couple of different things that Canva Pro gives you. This is a subscription that you could try out for free as well. And I'll put both of these, including this free trial link in the description below. Once you create yourself a free account, you're going to land on this page where you could start creating a design. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and search for the type of content that you want to make. They also have some examples over here of different categories. So a lot of people use Canva, for example, to create Instagram posts or to create entire presentations or even videos, or you could go to these different tabs here. So if you're trying to create something for social media, you could click on it and it's going to give you a bunch of different recommendations here for getting started, a bunch of different categories. And a lot of times I use Canva, for example, to make YouTube thumbnails. So I'll go ahead and click this one. And this will help me create a blank canvas over here on Canva. And with Canva, it decides what the size should be. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to know anything technical about dimensions. It's all ready to go and you're ready to design over here on the design page. What I recommend for step two, once you choose what you want to create, is actually try to find one of these templates here as a starting point. These are fully customizable. You could even delete everything you see on them. But as long as you start with a template, someone else, a professional designer created these templates with all the best practices of design. So this makes it a lot easier than me just trying to create something here on a blank canvas from scratch. And as you scroll through these templates over here, some of them are going to have this little crown icon. Those will require that paid pro subscription. The ones that don't have it, though, do not require any type of payment. They're going to be completely free to use. And you could also go ahead and search here. So if you were making something related to food, here's a suggestion. So food related thumbnails, those are going to pop up right here. So go ahead and do a quick search on top first. Let's do one for business, for example. And here's all the different thumbnails I could use for business. Again, some of them are going to have the pro, some of them are not. Let's say I like this one. This one's very simple. I'll click on it and it's going to go ahead and put it over here. And as I mentioned, every piece of this thumbnail is fully editable. So let me walk you through the next part of this. So if I go back here, we started here on the template page and we're on the design tab over here. But if you look on the left side, there's a bunch of different tabs available. There's an elements tab, text tab, and I'll kind of walk you through the most important tabs over here. So the design tab was the best place to get started for picking a template. The next tab that you'll most likely want to go to is the text tab here under the text tab. Even if you're creating something from scratch, you could go ahead and drag any one of the text that you see in these templates over here or choose just a plain text. And to add it to your canvas, all you have to do is click on it and it's going to add it over here. And then you could just go ahead and type in your own text over here. So this would be your text. And then you could go ahead and click away and then this becomes movable. So then I could just go ahead and grab it and put it up here. Now to change the font and the color, if you double click into this box, you're going to have all these options on top. So if you wanted to increase the size, that's over here. If you wanted to change the font, that's over here. I'll change the font like this. If you wanted to change the color, which would make sense in this case, that's this box right over here. And it's going to give you a ton of colors to choose from. I'll choose white here, change all, and it's going to change my text over here. And you could also click on effects. That's going to give you different text effects like drop shadow to kind of make it pop a little bit more from the background. Bunch of different options available here that you could explore on your own. If you use the template, I'm just going to click on this one and press the garbage can to delete it. You could always double click any existing text inside of templates and do the same exact thing. So you could type in your own text over here. And again, all the options that I just mentioned on top are also available to you. If you ever make a mistake, you could always undo it as well. That's this little arrow on top and that's going to take you back to the previous step. And this is to redo if you want to move forward to keep that change. 
Okay, so that's working with text over here. So adding text here from the text panel or editing any existing text. Next, if I go to elements, sometimes you could add little things that are in the elements section like graphics or for example, YouTube subscribe icon might be something I could just search up for and it's going to give me the subscribe icon. Again, some of them are going to have the crown option, but let me go ahead and see all of them here. And here's a free one so I could click on it. And these elements are completely resizable. So I could go ahead and resize this one. And this one has some animation to it. That's really designed for video. Obviously a thumbnail is not going to have any animation. When you have things that are animated, you'll see this animate button right here. You could do this with pretty much anything, but you'll see different types of animation too, that you could add on top of the existing animation that things have. But that is again related to videos, which I cover in a different tutorial. This is really more for creating graphic design using Canva, but Canva is capable of creating videos for YouTube. I'll go ahead and delete this one. You could also do this with photos. So you'll see a ton of different photos. Again, your search stays on top. So I'll show you photos next. Let me go ahead and press delete on this picture. I'm going to delete this image here. And this has a nice placeholder for us. But if I go to the photos tab, I could go ahead and add a photo. So to do that, just go ahead and search. I'm going to search business person. Let's do a quick search on that. It's going to give me the search bar. I'll go to the photos tab and I'll see all these options that are available to me. Now, a lot of these again are going to require you to upgrade and we got ourselves one that's free over here. So I could grab it and I could just bring it right over this area. So it would drop it into our placeholder. Another thing you could do is I'm going to go ahead and select this one and delete it. You could also add an image of yourself. So if you come to the left side, there's this upload tab over here and here you could upload different files from your computer. So I got a picture on myself right over here that I just uploaded from my computer. So I could drag this one and put this into my thumbnail like this. And this looks a lot better. Typically you'll see thumbnails with people's faces. Or I could just go ahead and delete this whole thing and I'll delete the placeholder too. So I'll delete all these different pieces. So now I have no placeholder here. So what I could do is I could grab an image and add it like this as well. So I'll go ahead and shrink this down. For example, just grabbing the corner, you could go ahead and shrink it down like this. The only thing is a lot of times you'll see in YouTube thumbnails, someone removes the background that also requires you to have the paid version of Canva if you want to remove your background. So if you select this and you go up here to edit photo with photos, you'll have this option called BG remover. So this will remove the background. But again, that requires us to upgrade. And you also have Magic Studio AI tools a lot more than just a background remover. But you do have some free options like different filters you could apply to it too. If you do have the paid version and you do remove the background, this is what it ends up looking like. So I've already done that and I could go ahead and resize this here to fit. So this looks a lot better for a YouTube thumbnail. I obviously have to work with this text a little bit to kind of make it work around this picture. So I might have to move it up here. I might have to resize it a little bit, move this over here. Okay. So that's looking a lot more like what you might see on YouTube as a thumbnail. Now you also have this tab here for background. So a lot of times when you're designing something, you may want to change the background. And this is going to give you a ton of options for different backgrounds that you could choose. So if I wanted to choose this background, for example, I could click on it and just like that, it replaces the background in one click. So all the other elements stay. And let me choose this one just to click on it. There we go. So it's really, really easy to change your background. And every time you change the background right now, as you can see, the background is selected. I could go to edit photo and I could make alterations like changing the color slightly to the background. And if I just show you all the different filters, you're going to have a ton of different filters here to choose from to really change and dial in how this image looks. Now, if you were to make a presentation and not just one single image, you'll see this option. It says add a page. So if you click this, it adds page two. So if you were doing something like a 10 page presentation, you would go ahead and create your cover here and continue down the line and create new presentations one at a time. So let's say with this one, I want to just start with photos. Well, this time let's go to the photos tab right here. This is the same place I told you under the elements tab when we searched, but you could go directly here to the photos tab. I could just select the photo like this and I could go ahead and resize this to kind of fit the canvas. I'll just go ahead and make this bigger. There we go. So now it fits the canvas and I could go back to my text here. And if I wanted to add any type of text from our text panel, I'll go ahead and grab one, put it over here. 
and same as always, I'm going to resize it. I'll put it where I want. I'll double click it. I could go ahead and change the text and the fonts and everything else. And I got myself a second page and I could always go ahead and save both of them out of Canva. Now, before I show you how to save this out of Canva, we also have this option right here that requires the pro option, but it could be a huge time saver if you make a lot of designs. Resize and magic switch. What this lets you do is it lets you resize whatever design you have for a different size. So I started with a YouTube thumbnail, which is this size right here, but I could turn it into an Instagram post or Instagram story or any custom shape and size that I want. And it will move things around based on that setting automatically. I don't have to redesign this for different types of platforms. But again, another paid option that I'll save for Canva Pro video. Finally, let's go ahead and save our design out of Canva. To do that, go up here and press share right on top. And you have multiple options. You could actually invite other people if you want to share the design with them that way. And you could also share a link directly by copying the link. But typically we want to download this so we could post this on our website, on social media, in this case, YouTube. I'll go ahead and press download right here. And these are the options that you're going to get. So PNG is the recommended file format and you also could do JPEG. But typically I like to save these type of images as a PNG, really good quality. So I'll leave it there again. The size is fine, too. But if I wanted to change the size again, those are Canva Pro options that you need to do. And then if you have multiple pages and you just want to save one of them, I'm going to unselect both and I'll just export the first one. If you only have one page, you don't have this option. It's just going to export that one. And I'm going to go ahead and download right here. Now this goes directly to your download folder over here. So if I go ahead and open this folder and here's the image here that I have now downloaded on my computer and these automatically get saved on your Canva account. So if you press the three lines over here, all your previous projects here are going to show up and you could jump into any previous project directly from here. You just have to click on it and it brings you to the project that you were working on before. So here's another project that I have that I'm making for LinkedIn ads, for example. And this is the format. Same thing that I'm showing you before, adding images, text, changing the background. And I've created multiple different versions of that. Next, I recommend watching the tutorial I have on Canva Magic Studio. This actually gives you 20 different AI tools with a paid subscription that really take Canva to the next level. So the resize and magic switch option could take any type of design and turn it into a completely different size and shape design. You could also type in text and turn it into complete videos. You could type in text and create images from text prompts. And they have ton of AI magic tools here like magic grab, magic edit. That is all covered in that other video, which I'll link here. I hope you found this video useful. All the links are in the description and I will see you next time.